You see, fiber mustn't only come from one source. Different kinds of fiber foster the growth of different types of bacteria in your gut. So we all know that the microbiome is important. This is food for my bacteria and me. Survival food is only going to give me calories and it's going to foster the growth of certain bacteria in my gut that love sugar. Because we have bacteria in us that love sugar as well. So those bacteria will flourish. Not the good guys. The good guys, they eat fiber. And you want to invite those people to your party. Your feast needs to be shared with the good bacteria. So you invite the good bacteria in your gut by eating real food. You eat processed foods, those bacteria are not going to come and reside in you. You need the bacteria in your gut because they are the guys that are going to produce the postbiotics. Those are the chemicals that those bacteria produce. And those products get into your bloodstream. And up to 50% of the micronutrients in your body are actually coming from the products of metabolism of the bacteria in your gut. These bacteria are so important, not only for that, but of course the integrity of your gut and the mucosa in your gut. But you've got to eat for your microbiome. This is eating for your microbiome as well. So I've done lots of videos on microbiome, but this is my microbiome food. There you go, my carrots and my broccoli, and I've got some onions in here, peppers, and look at all these colors that I got in here. I got the peppers, yellow, orange, red. These are phytonutrients, also known as polyphenols. These polyphenols are antioxidants, you heal all these things, but you know who really benefits from these? Is your microbiome. So you're changing yourself, you're changing your microbiome.